Good morning, everybody. I have a new story for us this morning. If you um, have some kids that are going a little bit stir crazy at the house to this morning, I have a library book that I picked up for my kids at the library a couple weeks ago. And it was, um, I have two of my kids that are really, really excited readers and one that's a little less enthusiastic. So I picked this one up because I thought it was funny and um, I think that you'll enjoy it too. So if you have somebody who is struggling with that reading time during your new um, at home homeschool schedule all of a sudden, I think this one's pretty funny. It's called, I Hate Reading. I hate reading. Scene one, okay, you have to read for 20 minutes, but you don't want to. Maybe your mom even has a timer, yikes. Here's the best book for you. It's this one right here. Scene two, these next pages are the most important. They are a list of rules. Rule one, look at the book and move your eyes from side to side, slowly. Eyes on book. Rule two, stay in your seat, but on chair. Rule three, repeat rules one and two over and over and over for 20 minutes or until a grown up says you're done. Eyes on book, but on chair. Scene three. Reading is not so bad when the words are easy. Here are some easy words. To, I, and, I, to. Okay, okay, okay. No, no, no. A. Oh yes, A. A is an easy word too. It's the easiest of all. We can't forget A. A, 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 A. Scene four. Here are some really hard words. If you don't know what they say, just move your eyes from side to side. Side to side, side to side, side to side, butt on chair, eyes on book. Archipelago, plateau, plutonium, photosynthesis, pathotuku, tricked you, that's not a real word. Or you could just skip it, yeah, just skip it. Scene five, aha, you turned the page. We skipped those big words too. Okay, here are some reading tips from Henry. Henry hates to read, so his tips will be good. Tip, first, pretend you have to go to the bathroom. Bring the book with you into the bathroom. Tell your mom you were reading it in there. Tip, pick a book that has big pictures and small sentences. Tip, humor. Funny books seem to go by fast. Tip, distract your parents. If they are really busy, they will not notice that you are not reading. Scene six, you're still here? Wow, that's pretty good. Here are tips from Arthur. Tip, when you are in the car, always read the signs you see. Read out loud. That way your mom and dad will think you read all day long. Note, if you are in a car and your parents want you to read a book, do what I do and say that you get car sick. Throwing up is a good way to stop reading. Speaking of that, bloody noses work too. They are as good as throw up. Scene seven, dedicated to everyone who hates reading. The dedication is usually at the beginning of a book or at the end, but we forget and we put it in the middle. 
Scene eight, the rest of Arthur's tips. Stare, stare at the page. If you stare long enough, it will look like you are reading. Tip, chores. Maybe your parents will let you do chores instead of reading. Washing the car is fun if it's not too cold outside. Tip, math. Do your math homework instead of reading. Hey, it's something. Scene nine. Sometimes I read Confession from Henry, but not often. Scene 10. What's that rule again? Eyes on book, but on barnacle? Wait, no. Eyes on book, but on toboggan. Wait. Eyes on book, but on hay bale? Oh, yeah. Eyes on book. Right. But on chair. Repeat for 20 minutes. Scene 11, try not to get caught not reading. Here is Henry's story. I got caught not reading once in the first grade. I was just looking at the pictures in my book. Then the teacher, Ms. Gonzalez, asked, hey, Henry, are you just looking at the pictures? And I was. The pictures were real good. I looked up at Ms. Gonzalez, then I tried, then I turned to a page with lots of words and I put my eyeballs back on the book and she left me alone. Scene 12, didn't that feel good? You got to turn the page without having to read. I wish all books had blank pages like that one. Scene 13, about the scenes in this book. What's the difference between a scene and a chapter? Scenes are in movies and chapters are in books. We know this is not a movie, but we like movies better and we bet you do too. That reminds us of another tip. Pretend your book is a movie. Scene 14, vacation reading. If you're on vacation and your parents make you read, do what we do. After a long day of touring around, ask if you can lie down while you read. Ask your parents to lie down too. You will probably all fall asleep. Scene 15, what to do about the kids at school who actually like to read. Tip, humor, tell them a joke, then tell them another and another and they will laugh and stop reading. Tip, shoes. Point out that their shoes are untied. This works for zippers too, even if their zippers are not down. <laughs> Tip, if your classroom has, many man eat, has any man-eating animals, put the kids who like to read in the box with them without any books. Scene 16, okay, we're done. Aha! tricked you. It's been 20 minutes. Well, maybe only 10. But you have been reading and you can't say you were just looking at the pictures because there aren't any. The end. It's over. Why are you still reading? Goodbye. The end for real. You're kidding, right? Go play! The end. I hope that helps you out a little bit, guys. I hope it gives you just a few minutes of um, reading and fun and something happy to pay attention to. And um, if you are looking for more classes, we are planning on actually live streaming all of our classes today, this afternoon and this evening. So if your student is uh, ready for class, you can go ahead and have them dress out, put on their uniform 
and they're gonna you can follow along in all of your classes at their regular class time this afternoon uh, when they would normally be here myself and mr. Cruz and several of our other uh, staff and helpers are going to be here live streaming us through classes this afternoon and we hope to see you there if you do end up taking class with us this afternoon shoot a picture or take a video and let us know we love to see your faces and we hope to see you here soon bye everybody